Nous sommes avec euh, Jarmo Swamiten, donc, qui est finlandais. Uh, I speak for the, for, mm, yes, for the yeah. lecture. Uh, from the University of Dalto en Finlande. Mm. Uh, nous allons parler de. Alors, en anglais, uh, excusez-nous. Nous allons parler en fait d'une nouvelle manière d'appréhender l'école, une architecture en réseau de lieux d'apprentissage et de partage donc de ressources uh, mm, yeah. pour, uh, pour apprendre dans une école. Donc, on, on va, euh, Germo va nous expliquer euh, une expérience qu'il a suivie en matière de recherche euh, sur un, donc un, un lieu hein, qui existe déjà euh, en Finlande mm. avec des projets dans d'autres pays euh, à Singapour, il me semble. Hein uh, mm, mm, Shanghai. Shanghai. À Shanghai. Yes. À Shanghai. Donc, euh, euh, d'où est venue cette idée au départ hein, que euh, il ne fallait pas construire l'école dans un ensemble unique, mais plutôt mm. utiliser d'autres ressources. Mm. Um. So the, the basic principle, as, as you mentioned, is to, to use the resources of the environment. But school is still a place, and it's a place for social learning. So it's important that we have a home base for students, uh, where they come, they, they feel a sense of belonging in every day, a sense of becoming together with something else. But then we all the other resources are used from the outside. Uh, so it's, it's in between the traditional model that you build standalone pieces of architecture, or then that you build totally virtual schools. It's not virtual or it's not only a piece of architecture, but it's something that I propose that will be the new model of school, schools. And the new model of schools means that you don't, you don't build anymore these isolated standalone factories for teaching. You build this network of resources which are focused on learning and, and they are focused on uh, a project-based learning, that it's, it's, it's easier to use the resource if you spend a half day or whole day there. Alors, ce, ce modèle, bien entendu, implique une mobilité de, de l'étudiant, hein, mm. d'un endroit à l'autre, dans la ville, euh, mais à un, un effectif cost, donc un, un intérêt fort sur la ressource en investissement financier qu'il y a à construire des écoles, c'est ça uh, If I understand you correctly, it's, 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 it's the, the cost of this system... Um, Uh, first of all, the, it's, it's much more cost-effective, but that's not the biggest thing. The biggest thing is that it's, uh, it decreases the investment risk a lot, because the solution is very flexible. And it also decreases the planning risk. You don't have to plan ahead too much, because it's, the solution is flexible. And uh, based on the calculation, this, this, the overall cost of this is they are at least 30% cheaper than any other school solution. So what I'm saying that this is, is it cheaper, more cost-effective, the learning result seems to be better. The students are more engaged, and they feel that the learning uh, environment is better than before. So, it, so I could use the, the Mies van der Rohe's thing that less is more. In, in a way, we at, achieve more by, by putting less resources in. En termes de management, donc de gestion, de project management, mm. euh, qui ou, euh, doit, euh, ou, ou, de manière effective, gérer cet ensemble de, de propositions de, de, de fonctionner en réseau C'est une collectivité publique C'est l'école mm. C'est privé Parce qu'il va y avoir un mélange de ressources, à la fois publique, privé, mm. euh, associative, avec... c'est compliqué um, Well, it's, uh, it's a different mindset. And, and so once the, the, the current system is, is focused on building these, what I call teaching factories, uh, it's a different thing than once we propose something that is connected to community, to environment. Uh, but very soon people realize that this is, uh, because we actually utilize more what we have already. The resources of the, the, the environment, even the commercial resources, sporting facilities, it will bring liveliness to the, the community. The, the, the school is not anymore tracking the, the, the resources from the community, but it will bring back the resources to the community. But the, the process was quite complicated because the mindset is, is to focus to build traditional schools. So I could say that even in the city of Espoo, which is the platform of the first school, it was quite controversial. The, the Department of Education wants to have this, but the Department of Real Estate was said, no way, this could not happen because we want to build schools. And it was, finally, it was a long kind of discussion, but when we get, the conclusion was that this is a new way of building schools. We are still building schools, but not in the old-fashioned way. Yeah, super project. Merci beaucoup. Okay. Thank you.